Hello, this is Geometry Lesson 2.3. In this, I will discuss questions on triangles basics. First question is identify the types of triangle in each of the following cases. The sides of the which are in, as follows. The sides are in centimeter. I am giving the sides. First case, I am giving 8, 15 and 17. Pause the video, try to find which kind of triangle it is. Now we know that. I discussed the with Pythagoras theorem triplet with you. 17 square is always equal to 15 square plus 8 square. So this triangle in which the sides are 18, 15 and 17. Let's say it's a part. This is a right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. Second case I am giving to you. 7, 9 and 13. What kind of triangle it is? 7, 9 and 13 either is a right angle triangle no it's not a right angle triangle is it a acute or obtuse i told you that find the square of the largest side 13 square sum of squares of other two sides 7 square plus 9 square 13 square is 169 7 square plus this is 9 square is 49 plus 81 now one, this 169 is greater than 49 plus 81. You can see that 13 square is greater than the 7 square plus 9 square. I told you that whenever the square of the largest side or the largest side is greater than the square, sum of squares of other two sides, the triangle is a obtuse angle triangle. This is an obtuse angle triangle. Third case I am giving you. And if we decide on the basis of sides it's on the basis of angle this is a obtuse angle triangle the second case on the basis of sides sides are different can this is scalene triangle this is also a scalene triangle as well as obtuse angle triangle same way this first case was also scalene all sides are different so you have to determine the triangle in both ways either or also basis on sides as well as on the basis of angle third case 6 6 and 6 root 2 what kind of triangle it is this is a 45 45 90 degree triangle i told you that if this angle is 45 degree this angle is 45 degree these two sides will be same this would be 6, this would be 6, this would be 6 root 2. This angle would be 90 degree. So this is a right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. Also, it's a, on the other side, it's a isosceles triangle as well. So you have to try, try, determine the triangle in both ways. Either also on the basis of angle as well as on the basis of sides. So on the basis of angle, it's a right angle triangle. On the basis of sides, it's an isosceles triangle as the two sides are same. D part I am giving you 7, 8 and 9. What kind of triangle it is? It is not a right angle triangle as you can see that. 9 square is not equals to 9 square, 7 square plus 8 square. 9 square is 81. This is 49 plus 56. Now you can see that this is larger one. Or you can see that the square of the largest side. The square of the largest side is less than the sum of squares of other two sides. So that will be acute angle triangle that will be a acute angle triangle and this will also be a scalene triangle on the basis of sides because all sides are different the last case i want to discuss you the fifth case 5 11 16 what kind of triangle it is pause the video try to solve yourself now this is not a triangle because the basic condition of triangle is that some of the two smaller sides 5 plus 11 must be greater than 16 which is not there in the two this case so this is not a triangle so i've discussed five cases with you you have to understood this and uh, try to solve the questions in exam in a fastest manner three sides you can always determine what kind of triangle will they make second question is a road of length 11 centimeter has to be cut into three parts of integral length all parts integral parts are in centimeter or is written that 
now how many triangles can be formed from these three parts we assume that the parts are of x centimeter y centimeter and z centimeter are in length the other parts what can be smallest part i can assume can i assume that smallest part will be at least 1 cm because the parts are of integral length i have cut the road into road into three parts let's say the smallest part is 1 cm minimum i can assume one length as x 1 cm total must be 11 these are three parts x cm y cm and z cm total must be 11 cm now assume that the x is minimum 1 that's how we going to start this now y and z should be 10 y plus z should be 10 so it could be 1 9 2 8 3 7 4 6 5 5 that's the only possibility 6 4 will be same thing as 6 4 will be same thing as 4 and 6 so we won't take that now is it 1 1 9 will make a triangle 1 1 9 will make a triangle no i told you the basic formation of triangle that you only need to check the sum of two smaller sides must be greater than the larger or largest side so 1 plus 1 is not greater than 9 so this will not a triangle 1 plus 2 is not greater than 8 this is not a triangle because 1 plus 2 should is not greater than 8 this is not a triangle 1 plus 3 same way is not greater than 7 One plus four is not greater than six. This will also not be a triangle. Now one plus five is greater than five, so this will be a triangle. So one triangle I got that one five and five. If you cut the road of eleven centimeter into three parts of so five centimeter, five centimeter, and one centimeter, that these three parts will make a triangle. So one pair I got. Now I have taken all combination from one. Now I will take from two. that's how you have to solve in exam when you have you are taking two you won't take one i have taken all combination from one x plus y plus z again should be 11 cm now uh each and every length now must be greater than 2 because i have taken all combination from one now one will not come again now we will take two or more than two numbers So y plus z again would be nine, so it could be two seven, three six, four five. That's all. Three possibilities are there. Five four is same thing as four five. Will make it will make a triangle. Two plus two is not greater than seven. This will not make a triangle. Two plus three is not greater than six. This will not make a triangle. But two plus four is greater than five. Yes, that will make a triangle. So if you cut the road into three lengths of two centimeter, four centimeter, and five centimeter, these three will part will make a triangle. Now we can take and we have taken all combination from two. Let's start from three. Then three. This could be x plus y plus z. This must be eleven centimeter. Now all numbers must be greater than three or equals to three because I have taken all combination from two. That's how you go. You have to proceed in exam. in this manner you won't commit any mistake this 3 now this should be 8 y plus z must be 8 so it could be 3 5 4 and 4 will this make a triangle 3 plus 3 is greater than 5 3 plus 4 is greater than 4 yes this through two both of them will make a triangle uh x plus y plus z is equals to 11 cm when x is 4 now can we make a triangle when all parts are greater than or equals to 4 i have taken all the combination from 3 so I, even if i will take 4 4 and 4 that will make 12 so that is not possible so here i will end because uh, side can't be more than 4 each side so how many uh, triangles we can form triangle is 4 this is one triangle is this 1 5 5 2 4 4 Two, four, five, three, three, five, and four, three, four, four. These four triangles we can form. So answer is four. So answer this question is four triangles can be formed. Important question, and this question will take at least two to three minutes to solve in exam. But this is a very good question. Now question number third is. 5 cm 12 cm and x cm are the lengths of a side of a triangle you know that the triangle is there 
find the how many values of x are possible given that x is an integer now 5 cm 12 can x be 1 can third side x cm can it be 1 we will take so many cases one is 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 one is possible no one triangle will not be formed because i told you that neuro triangle formation sum of two smaller sides must be greater than the largest side so 1 plus 5 is should is not greater than 12 so this is not same way it can't be two one is not there two third side side can't be two this can't be three this can't be four can i check five 5 plus 5 is not greater than 12 so x can't be 5 also can x be 6 can x be 6 5 plus 6 no x can't be 6 can it be 7 no 5 plus 7 will equal to 12 it should be greater than 12 so first possible way possible side for x is 8 because 5 plus 8 is greater than 12 the only criterion you need to check in order to form a triangle is that sum of two smaller sides must be greater than the larger or largest side so 5 plus 8 is greater than 12 then this will make a triangle can it be 9 yes 5 plus 9 is greater than 12 can it be 10 yes 5 plus 10 is greater than 12 can it be 11 yes 5 plus 11 is greater than 12 can it be 12 yes 5 plus 12 is greater than 12 now can x be 13 now 5 is now the smallest side 5 plus 5 and 2 are 12 are smaller sides so can it be 13 yes sum of two smaller sides 5 plus 12 must be greater than 13 yes it is so x can be 13 can x be 14 yes 5 plus 12 the sum of two smaller sides can be greater than the larger side largest side 14 can x be 15 yes can x be 16 yes possible Because five plus sixteen, sorry, five plus twelve, sum of two smaller sides. Now five and twelve are smaller sides, must be greater than sixteen. Yes, it is. Can x be seventeen? No, because sum of two smaller sides, five plus twelve should be greater than seventy, which is not the case. Five plus twelve equal to seventeen, so seventeen is not there. So possible values of x are eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So nine possible. triangles are there nine possible triangles are there so answer is nine only thing you need to check that in it in order for three lengths to make a triangle sum of two smaller sides must be greater than the larger or largest side so in this way nine triangles will be formed similar question 5 cm 12 cm x cm lengths of a sides of an acute angle triangle not a just a triangle it's a acute angle triangle how many values of x are possible very be very careful in exam there is a difference in this question and previous question in previous question it, we only need to make it a triangle in this case we have to make a acute angle triangle so we our length was 5 cm 12 cm and x cm possible values of x are we find that that was 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 this nine possible values were there for x these were nine triangles now acute angle triangle you know that in acute angle triangle acute triangle the square of larger or largest side square is less than square sum of square of other two sides that we need to check so first till 11 till 12 cm if x is 8 9 10 11 and 12 if x is equals to 8 9 10 11 and 12 the larger side or largest side is 12 cm so we'll check that 12 square must be less than third side is we you know that third side is 5 cm the square of largest side must be less than the sum of squares of other side 
सो वेन एक्स इज एट नाइन टेन इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व द लार्जर और लार्जर साइड इज ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर सो लार्जर साइड स्क्वायर सम ऑफ अदर टू सो इट कुड बी फाइव स्क्वायर प्लस एट स्क्वायर और इट कुड बी वी विल चेक लाइक दिस फाइव स्क्वायर प्लस एट स्क्वायर वी हैव टू कंपेयर फाइव स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन स्क्वायर फाइव स्क्वायर प्लस टेन स्क्वायर फाइव स्क्वायर प्लस इलेवन स्क्वायर एंड फाइव स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेल्व स्क्वायर दिस स्क्वायर ऑफ लार्जेस्ट साइड शुड बी लेस देन नो ट्वेल्व स्क्वायर वन फोर्टी फोर दिस इज वन फोर्टी फोर इज नॉट लेस देन फाइव स्क्वायर प्लस एट स्क्वायर दिस इज ग्रेटर देन सो दिस विल दिस विल नॉट बी ए क्यूट एंगल ट्रेंगल दिस विल बी ए ऑप्टिज वट काइंड ऑफ ट्रेंगल दिस विल बी दिस विल बी ए ऑप्टिज एंगल ट्रेंगल बिकॉज द स्क्वेयर ऑफ द लार्जर और लार्जेस्ट साइड इज ग्रेटर देन द सम ऑफ स्क्वेयर ऑफ अदर टू साइड सो दिस विल बी ऑप्टिज एंगल ट्रेंगल वट अबाउट दिस वन फोर्टी फोर इज ग्रेटर देन फाइव स्क्वेयर प्लस नाइन स्क्वायर दिस विल ऑल्सो बी ऑप्टिज एंगल ट्रेंगल वन फोर्टी फोर इज ग्रेटर देन फाइव स्क्वेयर प्लस टेन स्क्वायर Because ten square is hundred, five square is one twenty five. One twenty five. This will also be obtuse angle triangle. Twelve square is five square plus eleven square. Now this is five square is twenty five. Eleven square is one twenty one. So this will come. This will total will come. One forty six. Five square. This will equals to one forty six. Twenty eleven square is one twenty one. Five square is twenty five. So it will make one forty six. Now one forty four is less than. So this will be the acute angle triangle. Five cent square eleven and twelve. This will be acute one acute angle triangle we found. Same way, this will also be less than five square plus twelve square, because this is one sixty nine. This will also be a acute angle triangle. So we got two acute angle triangle now and three obtuse. Now. When the x is, when x is thirteen, fourteen, fifteen or sixteen, then x is the largest side. Then x is our largest side, and the smaller sides are, smaller sides are five centimeter and twelve centimeter. Now we need to check the square of the largest side. Largest side square, and other two sides square. A square plus C square. For example, we are taking assuming that largest side square thirteen square, five square plus twelve square, fourteen square, five square plus twelve square, fifteen square, five square plus twelve square, sixteen square, five square plus twelve square. Now this is equal because five square plus twelve square, five square plus twelve square. This is one sixty nine. so this is equal this will be right angle triangle very important when the largest side square is equals to sum of squares of other two sides a right angle triangle what about this 14 square this will be 196 greater than 169 this will again be obtuse angle triangle because in obtuse angle triangle the largest side square is greater than the sum of squares of other two sides same way this will be also be obtuse and this will also be obtuse angle triangle so in this case total 9 triangles were there total 9 were there total were 9 out of this right angle triangle is 1 acute are 2 obtuse are 6 so that's how you can solve this kind of question any kind of, if the examiner ask for obtuse angle triangle you can also find so that's the way to check the only thing is that first calculate the total possible uh, values of third side in this case x were 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and now the only concept is that the largest side square and sum of square is over the two sides and you will find your answer so that was all about lesson 2.3 questions on triangle basics thank you